this is my review of the SMS Sanskrit 6th Anniversary Edition and it's a DAC but for what I get even get into that comes with boxes <clears throat> USB to yeah that size USB not a problem really you know how often you go and unplug it so yeah this everything I'll show you is what actually comes in the box so that type of USB that's only for data you still need a power brick to power it but I'll show you in a sec so yeah power brick nothing special and oh my mistake so yeah 9 volt 1.3 amp and that's the connection if you need to get anything but all this comes in the box and unfortunately it's not USB powered so that's kind of similar to this is the uh, top in D10 I presume I'll love to try that you get a driver disc which is not a big deal anymore because obviously who you use disk drives and computer but you can download all the drivers off the off their website so it's not really a big problem that and the manual which is semi useful let's get to English so yeah start from here I'll, obviously I'll give you a rundown in a bit <coughs> blah, 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 blah. yeah you can see all that like so I'll give you a rundown of the in a second nice typo there the input blah, 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 blah. so this is the important part I'll show you all that in a second XP 7 8 8.1 it also does 10 um, and you need the driver for no older Windows 10 but if you have the creator edition and up you don't need drivers it's plug and play which is super useful um, bear that in mind I haven't tried it on Mac or iOS or Android 4, but it works on Linux, so it's all good. So the key thing is, if you're using other USB, it does 32-bit, 192. But over obviously I have a coaxial with another spelling mistake, an optical. It can't do up to 32-bit, so bear that in mind. Blah, 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 blah. I'm surprised they didn't they should have checked the spelling on that so yeah this is what it actually looks like so for the colors blah 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 so yeah I say it's just a DAX so super easy so power on and off standby or if you hold it it turns the unit off Light up red. Obviously, it will, it will light up the source. So it's coaxial, optical, or USB. I've only tried in USB, but I I don't see it. You have a problem with either, to be honest. The other modes. But yeah, USB on my Windows 10 as of this video. I'm on the latest build. Plugged it in. Worked perfectly. No problems whatsoever. It's a nice brushed like aluminium finish. If you can see, if you get the light on it kind of normal for what comes out of China uh, which they say it's a metal box but it's still not too bad underneath just four with a feet so yeah 9 volt 1.3 amp if you ever need to get another plug so here this is the main bit of the device <coughs> it's only got one output so power USB in optical in coaxial in I couldn't test those two at the moment but obviously I tried USB I say I, I don't see you would have any issues using the um, those as inputs and RCA outputs. So the RCA actually operates its full two volts because it's getting wall power. If you get like some USB only power DACs, the output of those two might be less. That may or may not be important for your case, but for me it works. It's fine. So yeah. I only try the USB. I love to try the top in D10. 
in comparison to this. And I thought, yeah, before I even get to why, is I reviewed this because if you need a, a DAC and you don't really have much of a budget, or if you can find one of these used, or even new for a really great price, and you need a, a decent DAC unit, this 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 covers it. I know it's been out for a little while, and I know there's a 10th anniversary version with a different DAC, but I'm not, as you say, that should probably perform quite good. And the top in detail has a screen on it, like a really basic screen. But I'd love to try that out. And yeah, so yeah, I've had this for two years. And in my time I've used it, it works fine. And what it sounds like, it sounds really... And I, it's hard to describe the sound of a DAC. But yeah, it, what I've plugged in, it sounds really clean. It's just neutral, if that's probably the best way to describe. Yeah, and that's it. Super short one, but yeah, each one lights up for when it's in use, and you just press the button to change it. Similar as that. And this is only a DAC, so there's no amplifier section. So the signal chain would be, for in my USB, computer to USB to this, then RCA's out to an amp. So this is like in the middle, acts as the middle. And it, it, it works perfect. And obviously in Windows you can select your bit rate or you know the kilohertz you want to set it on. So yeah. Super short review. Can't really say much more because it works exactly as intended. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with an earphone review should be next. So it's quite of a quite a bit of a gamble the earphones on the next review, but they the gamble paid off. And you'll see what I mean, but yet yeah, it's the next video from this. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with an earphone review.